Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Croft Studios here, and I'm here with an Ultra Agent set review. And I'm here with set 70171, the Ultrasonic Showdown. It is 188 pieces, retails for $19.99 here in the USA, and it contains two minifigures. So let's take a look at our box. Here's the box included with the set right here. As you can see, you get the set on the front, and I'm at 187 pieces. And when you go into the back right here, you can see just basically the features and stuff that come in the set. In this set, you get one instruction booklet right here, and when we go to the end, we get a couple of advertisements right here. Um, right here on this page, you get uh, basically an advertisement for some of the other sets that came out, which is pretty cool. Um, you get an online game type of thing right there. Right here, you get some of the Technic sets that are out. Uh, actually, I've never seen one of these ads. And you can see right here, you get a LEGO Club ad, and then on the back, you get the Evil Green Ninja of Doom. Here are the extra pieces included in this set. First up for figures is Curtis Bolt right here, and he is an ultra agent right here. As you can see, you get some leg printing on him and some torso printing, not really too much. They're pretty cool looking, though. I really like to look at that gray, blue, and black combination right there. And you can see his gun right there. I don't normally like these guns, but for agents, I'll accept it. And I also like that it's in a white color, which is cool. You can see his face right there. It's kind of a smiley face. I don't like that face very much. Definitely, like like I said, the gun is cool, though. And when you go out to the back right here, um, you get a cool uh, back torso right here as well. It looks like a spine type of look, and I like his hair as well and when you take off the hair you get right here you get a double-sided head which is a little bit better um so it pretty nice minifigure except for the head i don't really like the head that much but other than that he's a cool figure second up for figures is professor brainstein right here as you can see and his legs are kind of like these weird spider looking legs they have these cool pieces on them i like that piece one thing i hate about, about this figure though is this piece that they put at the bottom whenever you're playing with it it falls off so honestly i'm just going to take it off when i'm showing this because it'll probably fall off by itself um, you can see right here, I really like the little walkie-talkie that it gets. It says Mission right there, and it shows a guy in a white hood. kind of looks like Pythor to me. Um, you can see his torso printing right there. It's pretty cool looking. It kind of has like a little professor look to it. And you can see that weird hat piece right there, which is really cool looking. It gets a stud shooter right here, which is pretty cool. Um, you can see his face right there. It's a really angry face with some red eyes. And when you go into the back right here, um, you can see the back piece right here that just basically holds on to the gun not really too much going on back here you can see the head piece right here um looks really cool i love the helmet um and you can see that this is a pink color actually if you didn't know kind of looks orange when you're looking through here but when you actually take it off it's pink and i really like this hat piece as well you can put studs on the side of it do whatever you want with it so let's take a look at his back printing Here's his back printing right here, and as you can see, he was obviously an agent before this, and he was kind of like a doctor there, I'm guessing, or something like that. But you can see, obviously, he's turned evil. Alright guys, now onto the vehicle included in this set. And uh, I think this is a pretty cool looking plane right here, actually. It's very sleek looking. Um, the one thing I have to complain about, probably, is the cockpit area. It looks a little jumbled right here. Um, in my opinion, I don't really like that look. Um, but the bubble cockpit up here looks really cool. Um, you can see this right here. The wings look pretty nice. You get the uh, white stud shooters right there, which aren't too bad. You can see how these can rotate right here. Um, but one thing I have to really complain about on this vehicle is the lack of playability. Definitely a bad thing about this uh, set. There's basically no playability besides the shooters right here and the opening cockpit. That's why I haven't been liking about some of these most recent sets. They've been making decent looking models, but they haven't been putting any playability features. You can see how the minifigure fits in there. There's a sticker for the little uh, control, unfortunately. It's kind of cool that we get a spherical uh, uh, control pad. One thing I also don't like are the humongous gaps that they included in here. You can see there's gaps going through, so you can see my finger through the holes right there. It's definitely a bad thing right there. Um, you can see the gun can fit in there, which is pretty cool. Um, I like that little feature right there. And the stud shooters are also cool. Um, you can adjust these wings back here. But I really wanted, like when I first saw the pictures for the set, I thought the wings could do something or maybe something cool with those, but they don't do anything. They're just kind of stuck in that position, which really bones me out. I, I Don't get me wrong, they're in a really cool looking angle, but they don't really do anything. Then you get this little piece right here, which is basically the app brick um, that you use for the iPad game or the iOS game. And that can be like a little drone if you want it, want it to fly around and stuff. And also, there's no piece on the back of this plane for uh, boosters. Like, they show this little piece right here on the front, but there's nothing else, like, that's a booster back here. They should have put a blue piece or something because they show blue stuff coming out of the back of the plane. So, I don't know why that's not there. Um, so, I, I'm kind of disappointed with this plane, actually. It's cool looking. Don't get me wrong, but it just doesn't really have many playability features. And there's not really much to it. So, yeah, that's basically it. Let's go on to our ratings. Alright, guys, now onto the rating on the set. The set overall isn't too bad, 
I just don't like how the vehicle can't move its wings or anything. Um, the back two can be adjusted, but those are just small little wings that can be adjusted. There's not really too much to those. Um, one thing I don't like is that there's no booster on the back. You can see that they have a booster design going back here with some blue stuff coming out of it, even though they didn't even put a piece back there. Um, you can see the front right there. Uh, I mean, the figures in the set are very good. I have to admit that. Just the vehicle is disappointing, even though it looks really sweet. Um, and also that piece in the bottom of the Bra Brainiac Doctor falls off. And, I mean, it's just not, it doesn't have much to it. It just doesn't have that, it, it needs something to make it a lot better. Um, I'm going to give this set a 7.7 .7 out of 10. It's not really a great set. Um, honestly, I mean, it's just kind of boring in my opinion. I mean, they could have made a vehicle a lot better than this. And I feel like they just kind of threw this together as kind of another set to add in. And I feel like it could have gone somewhere a little bit better than this. And they could have added a lot more stuff to this, but it just didn't really have a lot to it. It just needed something more. And also, um, it, it's just kind of a boring set. I don't really know what else to say. So that's basically it for my rating. Um, and basically it for the review. Hope you've enjoyed. Make sure you comment and subscribe.